which is locked. Day 57. The war is brutal. It's gone on for weeks. Everyone I know is dead. But at the very least, I know I have my, my lover at home. I look forward to the day where we reunite, my sweet. Too easy. We're back for a traditional review. Everyone is dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the Smash there Brothers trailer. No Everyone chill in this it. series. Bro, oh, first so of all, he, I, I have to it, say. Wait a minute. Okay, go ahead. Minute. Oh, yeah, Thurman. Sorry, okay. Thurman's back. Go ahead, Thurman. I'm going to fucking gloat. I called this shit. Did he? I Remind fucking me. said it. I fucking. Wait, did you call it on a video or like in your own head? In the, no, the video, you were like, I, I told you, you were just like, oh, I don't, this is not the type of series. I don't think he's going to kill off people. Blah, 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 but, blah, blah. I don't think we're going to die. Mean, we discussed this. Do you really think they're stay? They're not going to be dead. <laughs> <clears throat> Point is, right? Does, does it count as killing them off if they come right back to life? Honestly, do you really think, like, bro, yeah, I do. <laughs> like, if we're being real, Sukasa. Ca- Sukasa, Kohaku, and what's his name should be dead. They died. They got shot first. They no, should be dead. Does this man legitimately think Kohaku's gonna stay dead? Ah! The fan service is staying, my dude. He's not Bro. gonna give up drawing them thighs and that There's ass. No way I'm Kohaku's sorry. Dead. Realistically, Kohaku, Sukasa should be dead. I <laughs> agree. Don't, I save them. <laughs> no. No, 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 Just to catch no. you up on the I'm conversation we had in the catch up. I was on a situation where he head onto his life so long before the before the thing pops. Bro, they're dead. I, oh, yeah. <laughs> they uh, all jokes aside, though. May I? May I? May I? So just to yeah, catch go. you up on the conversation we had in the catch-up video that you weren't in. Um, my concern about this, and we're going to get to positives because this chapter literally like <laughs> eat Dr. Stone back into my top ten. Uh, but my, my concern about this situation, uh, I don't know if you got this far in Naruto Thurman, but do you remember what happened with Pain? Oh uh, yeah, he cut off everyone. He killed like then... all the fucking like crazy good characters, and then like uh, talk no jutsu. That's where talk no jutsu comes from. And then well, okay, they come back to life now. Remember? Yeah, that's I remember. essentially <laughs> what's gonna happen here, in my mind at least. I'm because because <laughs> that's kind of the whole point of petrifying everybody. It acts as a healing thing. Yeah, that's true. So uh, all jokes aside, though, like I, I, it was it is a interesting thing to see. Uh, to see this darkness happen. It's very, very interesting. Niggas are getting shot left and right. Oh, it's first so of all, good, first of all, by the way, before I even continue, uh, kudos to Bochi, the off the the artist of the series. He's making that shit look hella painful. Okay, oh, yeah, this like, is like that's shit. one of the reasons why it's so jarring because like you don't see this a lot in this series, and then like it's just it's like. I... Uh, it's almost like when you're when you're watching the news and then they like show a clip from like a terrible terrorist attack and they're like, uh, "Do be warned, it's it's traumatic," and you're like, ah, "I won't be that bad." And then like someone's arm gets blown off and you're like, "Oh my god!" Like I think one of them. It's like going down Reddit fifty fifty. Remember that shit? Oh my god, yeah. Like uh, I forgot her name, but the girl that gets shot in the arm. Holy yeah. fuck! Oh my god, dude! Like holy fuck! Like and then seeing the blood spatter, seeing them all die, like, bro, like that shit. Is definitely they're just laying like, there like corpses. They are corpses. Ah! You can see the red is a full blown masochist here. Can, can I talk about my favorite part of the chapter though? Because I don't, I couldn't tell you fully why. But you, and you remember when he was introduced? I've been a Joel stan from panel one. Okay. Uh huh. Love my book. fuck Joel. Fuck you. You're, I know you're trolling. There's no <laughs> reason to hate him other than to make me upset. <laughs> most useless character he needs to die he's, yeah yeah super trolling right now okay so <laughs> he's beaming <laughs> this it's so good man my boy purely on his because one most of these people's um motivations are this pure trust in senku right but for mm-hmm. joel it's like slightly different it's this like camaraderie with like another craftsman that's all that's driving him here and it's really cool um and this scene is just so beautifully the art is phenomenal him crawling as they're like grabbing his legs and shit and then slamming his arm in the chest most likely snapping it in two and then his watch from the inside does it that's it was just so cinematic like i was on the edge of my seat reading this shit I loved it. It's, yeah, I love it the importance definitely. they put on him. It's it's so cool. 
it's definitely like a definitely such a interesting chapter because it's just like now it's just like holy shit bro because I, cause I was confused for a second I was just like how are they gonna do this how are they gonna get out of this because I was so confused I was just like wait a minute what's gonna happen like what's what's gonna happen you know inevitably when you know they're all gonna die is you know actually gonna win like what's gonna happen because my, my I mean, first, you forget I thought, about like, the it was set up in the treasure island arc when Kohaku and Ginro should have been killed <laughs> but then they they petrified themselves remember yeah 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 so I was just like my I, at first I thought like oh Senku knew like it was, it was like either a race against time between like who can figure out the petrification first. So like I was like okay, so they relied on Noel, Joel. So I was like, it, the uh, this series is gonna shift to the cornfield team trying to figure everything out while Senku's team, you know, says petrified and blah 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 blah. But no, it, it took, he, he surprised us again. He's gonna petrify everyone, and I think <coughs> I think maybe Chrome. Uh, Chrome uh, the two girls who are left <clears throat> might be okay, but I don't know if they have uh, revival fluid or not. But uh, because we're not, because the good thing about this is, is that like now that we know um, that you can get petrified and throw the revival fluid and then get an unpetrified, you know, high key fighting game video. Oh, game are you stop. hoping that they're gonna throw it up and or, or like it's gonna revive them too because it's on their person? Because I was just gonna say just to remind you, they're doing the entire planet again. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> I know. So I was just like, maybe because I mean, I just hashtag point, like, nuke the planet. Well, here, because what, like, I hope, they... what I think would be cool, like, because I'm sitting here reading this, like, is it going to be another couple thousand years? Are they literally going to have a situation where like all the shit they built is going to be like, I can't. There's no way, right? So because that would be like such a progress waster. <laughs> but it'd yeah. be in the name of science. Man, I don't, sorry. Continue what you're saying. So yeah, so it's definitely a uh, interesting situation. I'm trying to figure out like what do we go from here? Are we gonna? I, I doubt it's gonna be another time skip. Like that'd be absurd, right? I like, mean, another, doing all dimensional things in fiction is something that I love. Um, I just don't know what the purpose of it would be. Like even if they're, um, even if even if they like were frozen for another thousand years, the only thing that would do would be to erase all their progress. So it could be an interesting thing where if let's say another couple thousand years go by and they all wake up, then we're back on even playing field because their guns, their equipment, everything they had built would be destroyed. So they'd be literally be back to square zero, which would be fascinating. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, but but it, it wouldn't take as dope. long to get back to where they were because of the knowledge that like, cause they've done it before. So if they, if they really wanted to go down that path, they could, I suppose. Bruh, they really imagine imagine doing everything that they did. They probably montage it. Again. I'd be mad. That's like having your video game data broken. You have to start all over right, again. But that, that's that, that that might be the the reference they make. I could see Senku being like, because because that's what they're saying. Like for the sake of what, what is it actually that they said here? Um, this will destroy the world and save it all over again in the future. Right. It's kind of like this trust. Like, okay, well. I, I, okay, I know how to word this. So one of the things in science is that, like, progress happens slowly, right? Like, when you're talking about, like, how will future societies be built with this? If you lived in, like, the 1800s or whatever, and sorry for you, you missed out on video games. But, you know, uh, we're working on them. We're always working towards shit. There's shit that you will never see in your lifetime, right? So I think the metaphor they're going for is, like, the thing with science is it's a multi-generational thing. People have to die to make gains and you might not see those future gains, but it's a constant like progress. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Dr. Stone in an issue 20 of, Do of Jonah and Jump. <laughs> it, it ends, but it comes, it comes back in like five years and it's like, all right, we're, we've chapter. awoken after five years. <laughs> it'd be like, it'd be like a, Oh, uh, Moving to Jump Plus. <laughs> yeah, with fucking uh, what the hell is his name? Fujimoto. Bro, mm. Imagine. Oh God. Imagine next week Black Clover ends and begins in Jump Plus. Black that Clover way, Sabata cool. makes Black Clover more like Berserk since he's the fan of Berserk. Everyone just like he kills off majority of his characters. <laughs> Here, here's a question. I so like. What is this? So with the Y Man, right? Because like oh, I remember right that being revealed earlier that like the Y Man was with Senku's voice, which what do you, what is your guys' take on that? Like, is it just 
uh, it doesn't make any sense. So, like, uh, it's not it repeating really shit Senku has said because th- they heard Y-Man in Senku's voice before Senku had ever said any of that, right? So it's just, it's taking vo- voices that, uh, you know, like, those AIs that, like, hear a voice and you can hear a couple, like, words from that voice and then it can, like, recreate and make that voice say anything? Like, people have been doing it with, like, Spongebob to make Spongebob cuss and shit. Yes, no. The, the dolphin says her... No, 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 no. There's a website where you can go to that website, click a, a cartoon character, and like type in to make it say anything. Ooh. Because the AI takes all the clips from. Oh, that person. right, yeah. right, 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 right. That thing that was all over the the Rooster Teeth Reddit's having. There was a thing when someone made SpongeBob being like, "I can't believe I have to fucking work on a Saturday." I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, and, and they have a one for Glados too. You can make them say anything. Um, right. So yeah, I that's what I'm guessing the Y man is doing is it's used. I don't know why it'd be using Senku's voice unless I'm forgetting something, but I do remember that. So it's just it's really interesting how they used that because the Y man would it makes sense that the Y man would do that because the Y man wants the world petrified. Um, yeah. So basically, they were banking on the Y man seeing this situation and being like, "Oh, that's perfect for me." <clears throat> so yeah, that's, that's my interpretation of it. Does that vibe with you guys? Definitely strange, considering, you know, the hero of the Stone World is being portrayed to be Senku at this point, and then Senku essentially Medusa nuking the planet, making him out to be seemingly a villain here. It's quite a bizarre but it's take. it's not when... necessarily Senku doing it. It's it's the Y Man, right? I mean, obviously they were right. planning on the Y Man doing it. See, like I'm still confused about the Y Man. Like, yeah, we just know the it's Y-Man a guy is... probably chilling on Earth. You, for whatever reason, using Senku's voice, I can only assume it's because Senku, well, maybe not. I was thinking maybe it was because Senku, obviously, once he created, um, like, radio wave technology, the Y-Man would have heard that. Because, obviously, when they first, one of the first things they heard was, like, why, why, why? that's why they call him the Y-Man. And then mm-hmm. logged that guy's voice as a possibility. But, like, obviously, these Americans, they have radio, too. So I wonder if they had a similar situation. Did, did they ever have any contact with the Y-Man? Have they discussed the Y-Man with any of this American team did. at all? I don't remember. I don't think it was ever said that they did, if I'm being honest with you. I feel like, uh... Yeah. If we're idiots, tell us in the comments. I don't think yeah, they did either, but that's... See, like, I, I think... I don't know. Like, what do we think is going to happen with the Y-Man? Like... I can Honestly, even see it being like a GLaDOS type AI that like you one of those classic like humanity was going too far I needed to correct it <laughs> and it's just like on autopilot HAL 9000 shit I won't be, be opposed to it you know considering how far humanity has gone in the past yeah say again whoever was talking mm-hmm. <laughs> Thurman I think it's you yeah sorry I was taking a bite my food's here. <laughs> but um, I was saying, like, because the end game, because the Y Man is definitely in game, and now this has happened. <laughs> the end game I got pushed farther and farther away. I'm so, down, man. Like, I'm down for Dr. Stone as long as the quality stays consistent. Dr. Stone for next One Piece length series. Like, let's do it. Let's hit a thousand. I don't give a fuck. Yep. Yeah, uh, looks like, yes. Black Clover, Dr. Stone. I want Dr. Stone to be going when we're in our mid 40s, all right? <laughs> I would be down to read this until the end of time if it keeps up with this quality. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. I, I doubt it. Like, no, I highly doubt it. <laughs> yeah. Doctor's Me. last series was like 300, and Bochy's last series, Sunken Rock, I think was like, what, 100 or something, 200? Oh, I think it was 200 something. Uh, yeah, but let he hasn't had a series this popular, so I imagine that would change that. <laughs> I hit it almost pretty popular There's back in the day. There's no way yeah. in hell that anything that he had done is as popular as this. Eh, are you sure? Uh, Not, are come, you on, sure? come on, man. Right, doc, like, like, it can be popular, but it's it's a, it's the difference between, like, uh, Eden Zero and Fairy Tale. Like, like, they're both popular, but like, there's a massive difference. Dr. Stone is massive. Um, have you, do you know anyone who's read actually 21? Well, here, let, let, me, let me put it to you this way. I've never heard of the other thing you've talking about, and Dr. Stone's everywhere. Sunken Rock is a cult classic. Sure, but Dr. Stone's more popular. <laughs> I mean, I'll yeah, remember, the <laughs> Literally, uh, Sunken Rock was 171 chapters, Thurman. Oh, okay, perfect. So, yeah, so. I bet there... Dr. Stone's already sold more. Oh, I'm not denying that. It's also it comes down to localization with uh, Sunken Rock That's as fair. well. Uh, 
Uh, let me look up High Shield 21. I show 21 well, he's going when I, I was up. still getting shot and jump. I mean, <laughs> I show 21 was a, um, it, it was back in the day with like the big boys, Dragon Ball, you no know, bleach, yeah. shit like that. I can so, just look it up right now on Manga Dex. Um, it sold. While you're bringing that up, um, I do want to bring up. I saw something on Twitter that I loved. Um, on pages 16 to 17 in the upper left corner, you can see user Riha uh, is out. I show 21 mouth. was 333 chapters. Uh, guys, can you hear me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so uh, in p- pages 16 to 17 on the upper left corner, uh, user Riha is bleeding from her mouth. And someone pointed out on Twitter. Yuzuriha is not a member of the like like fighter class at all, which means they just fucking shot her, which is really <laughs> fucked up. Uh, so so, million... I mean, because that was one so, of the things they discussed in the previous chapters. Um, you know, like there's this like soldier's honor of like not shooting the civilian class. Yuzuriha, yeah. it's fucked. It's so fucked. They shot her. <laughs> uh, technically, only Stanley seems to stand by that code. Yeah, Stanley and his men certainly. I suppose, I guess, uh, you know, these men did. It, it, uh, there's probably a really interesting kind of dynamic between, like, do these people serve more Stanley or more Zeno? Exactly. Because I, 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 I agree with you. Zeno would have zero issue murdering a random, like, 18 year old girl, considering he was like, yeah, Senku, kill that bitch. <laughs> yep. Wow. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess, like, I'm really interested to see where it's going to... That's one hell of a cliffhanger. Um, one of the best cliffhangers in any series I've ever read, probably. Uh, mm-hmm. up there with, the Straw Hats were entirely annihilated. Um, so, I don't know. Where do you think it's going? I want predictions from all of you. All right, so first things first. Uh, Aisha 21 has sold 20, more than 20 million copies, and uh, Dr. Stone right now is at 10 million. What the fuck? That's filth. Mm-hmm. Well, so, yeah. Aisha 21 is a completed series I had... Mm, Way more volumes. And it's about too. what? Football? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you underestimate how stupidly popular sports series can get when written oh, well. Yeah. People that uh, like sports are underdeveloped brains. It's, they, have it's, brains. It's, uh, they are the monkey. I'm telling you, bro, this, this series was compared to like Bleach and Naruto, bro. It was, Ew. and I don't understand it. I, I personally have a hate boner for sports manga. Yeah, dude. I don't understand why they're in popular. My, in my perfect utopian world, uh, I'll send all sports lovers off to an island to fucking like beat their chests <laughs> and throw coconuts at each other, and then we, us enlightened weebs will rule society. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bro, I like my sports manga. I, I, I'm a real. Right. A do you things. like actual sports? No. Eh, I like baseball. Ooh, you, 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 half of you goes to the island. Which <laughs> half? <laughs> Whichever half he wants. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm a generous god. <laughs> so. Do people think I'm crazy. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I want uh, predictions from all you fucks. Uh, let's see. First, let me get my ranking. Um, 10 out of 10. We oh, missed the ranking. 10 out of 10. Yeah, oh, yeah, 100%. 10 out of 10. Joel, um, Joel MVP. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. Joel needs his head crushed in the chest. Yeah, I know you're trolling. And you're great, not get to me. Mm. Great, great everything, bro. Like, just great everything. I want to cosplay of- Joel, but I'm not fem enough, and it's sad. Only oh, yeah, I'm thin enough here. David now, for Joel see, cosplay. I wanna, <laughs> I see, uh, everyone going. I want to see us going back to Senku. I want to see the interaction between Stanley and Senku and Dina before they petrified. That's gonna be Ooh, interesting. Yeah. Really what's going to happen between that and see? So, like, what... Wait, because technically, a... wait, 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 wait. Technically, there is a possibility for that, Thurman, because we know that this wave travels at a certain speed, right? Mm-hmm. It's not like instant. There was like a, a travel time. So there you could easily get like five to ten seconds. I'm sure there's like an exact somewhere. Someone tell me in the comments. But like I would lo- I agree with you. If the first like page or two is just Senku and st- like Stanley like, what did you do? It is like, ha <laughs> I would love that. Yeah. I would love to so, see the, the interactions because now Senku would have a choice. And now this would test Senku's morals. Because now you know how before he was just like, "Hey, we have to revive everyone." Yeah, now, we, with this yeah. new experience, what will he have changed? Mm-hmm. Mm, I like yeah. that. Yeah. So, like, it was pointed out to us in our Discord server uh, that oh, yeah. Sinku does have an angry side. Yeah, there's a chapter. Sorry, I'll let you say it. Yep. 
Uh, I'm trying to find the exact chapter here. Uh, was 138. 138 Party Jams uh, pointed out to us over in Discord, and we tweeted it out on our Twitter as well, that he does have an anger type, but he feels that it serves no purpose. So now... He's that, like, that, there's no point in getting angry type, but, like, yeah. he said it does happen, though. Yeah, so I want to see if this is enough to make Senku angry. Because if this is enough to make Senku angry, we'll have a chance to actually see that darker side of Senku and where his morals actually lie. Will he fall into, like, an early Tsukasa, smash the statue beyond repair? Bro, if Senku had, like, an Aaron Yeager fucking dark side-like moment, and again, I don't know what's going on, I just hear that Aaron Yeager's kind of doing one of those, like... Turning yeah. into villain type, which is exciting. If if Senku has one of those final moments, chapter this week, I know, uh, that's crazy. It's been out for ten fucking years. Can you ten. imagine though if Senku had like an an arc, just just a single arc where Senku like was wavering in his morals? Because like that mm-hmm. would be phenomenal for him. Because he's been so blanket statement. Like, yep, I don't care about the consequences. I I'm not yep. here to think about what's good or bad for society. I'm not here to make judgments on people. I'm here to just restore what we have lost. That is all I'm putting on myself. But now... Because he said he wanted everybody to be restored and have this neutral balance in the world, basically. Yeah, I think he looks at his role as more of like a, an un, a control-Z undo button for the universe. You know what I mean? Exactly. Uh, like, he just wants it back to how it was. There's no changes he's planning on making. But now, with this experience... I'm very yeah, yeah. And in fact, I yeah. think it would be kind of irresponsible and shitty of him to not semi-change his morals from this. Yeah, because now he sees how dark humanity has gotten in his mm. ears. Because we don't really know exactly... The, the difference in society was reflected as it was here in our real world. Was one side of the world immensely darker than the other what what exactly was the status of this universe when the wave hit you know were we in the middle of seven thousand wars over in america because god yeah. and if you don't know what that acronym means i'm i feel sorry for you or was it a peaceful utopia we don't really know so much about the history of this universe that was created so this could be the norm for stanley and his gang you know, in death honor style living versus, you know, peaceful science for Senku's side of the universe. It, it just varies. Or it could have just all been this nice, peaceful utopia and then just like a few assholes sprinkled throughout. Meaning, yeah, of course, restoring everybody is a great option until one of those encounters actually happened. Yeah. Will Senku lot- become a communist anarcho primitive prim- primitivist like uh Tsukasa. <laughs> and you had to politically an- justify it. You had to give the exact fucking sect of the politics. I had to look oh I've been Googling it. That's what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking Christ. So communist because you know I imagine that's the only really way that he would be able to like uh form his society and then anarcho because he doesn't want government and then prim is the whole return to monkey aspect of his ideology. Yeah. yeah. It's so funny too because like, could there be like a little civil war between <clears throat> the game of science now? Because this is gonna be a very very deep eye opener for some of the people. And like, I'm gonna be honest. After this moment, Sukasa kind of has a point. Oh yeah, like 100. Yeah. Like, 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 percent. I hope Sukasa, like, if he is alive, that that well, there's two options here. One, if he's alive, Sukasa should have like a mm, almost died. All of us almost died. Thank you. My boy, like, I promised I'd, I'd help you with your shit, but, like, you seeing this? <laughs> or number two. This is what number... I tried to prevent. Exactly. Option number two, though, which would be pretty cool, he does die. And then Senku, through that <laughs> death, does start to think, fuck, he had a point. He had a fucking point, and now he's dead. Ooh, come on. Yeah. So, I, I'm going to give my predictions here. There are going to be deaths. Oh, please. Hyuga... Hyuga, his character arc's done. Is it Hyoga or Hyuga? I don't fucking know. Okay. Uh, He has served his purpose in the story. There is no point in him carrying on throughout this. His arc is finished. He will be a sacrifice for the crew. He is also Swiss fucking cheese. He was filled with more holes than fucking Biggie. Okay? Uh, There's no point in this. If Hyuga and Tsukasa die, I'd be happy. 
Yeah. Sukasa kind of has served his purpose, but he is also there as kind of the anti Sinku. Well, there, the it could be his Majin side. Vegeta moment. You know what I mean? Yeah, it could have been. It could have been as well. So, like, I, I died for the greater good, protecting everybody and passing it on, yada, yada, yada. You and, have a and, point there. Another thing that makes me think that his death might be one of the more permanent ones, because if you think about it, out of all these deaths, the ones He's that been resurrected have big, like, panel months. space moments have been those two, Hyuga and Sukasa. Mm-hmm. Sukasa had a whole moment where <laughs> that double page spread where he's looking at the stars and shit. Beautiful. It was almost my fucking cover photo. No, oh, it's glorious. Um, but I didn't want to put spoilers out because I have a lot of friends who are actually watching yeah, anime only. I'm like, um, so I'm just like, I won't put this up there out of respect for them. Uh, but definitely you have a point there. Also, Biakia had the, those big page spreads as well before it, his volume oh, came Kuba. out. Oh, this is a totally no, 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 no. Space Daddy. Thank you, Dad. But Kuba Byakuya did have that in in Bleach too, remember? Uh, very true. <laughs> I had to think for a minute. I'm like, you're you're goddamn right. And then fans berated him until he brought him back. Uh, uh, <laughs> remember his Zanpak <laughs> toe was like so fucking bad. atomizing away and everything too. Yeah, and just like plot armor. It was, uh, it was that's not, a, not a positive, by the way. People literally attacked Kubo, and he had to bring him back. Oh, it's. it's I mean, filth. it's just like. Uh, fucking Tokyo Ghouls and like gay shipping. I, I respect the author for not backing down though. There. Uh, anyway. Like, no, those, this fictional that, character in my head in this, loves pussy yeah. and I will die for that. <laughs> anyway, I, I think the other death could be uh, the captain, Ryusai. I think is how you say his name. Uh, that no, that, I, that I one would I'm hurt. Thinking. Uh, it would hurt, table. but think how one how atomized he was there, and also how many times he's also been resurrected. So you know how right in One Piece, I said that if Law dies, I'm gonna start reading One Piece. If he dies, you stop. Same rules apply. <laughs> and by the way, when he says stop, he means for a week, which means nothing would change because that's exactly. how long it takes for another chapter to come. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, the Thurman will never stop reading that's One Piece. The joke. The first uh, time but, he ever said he'd stop reading One Piece if Law died, he said I'd stop reading One Piece for a week, and I was and I thought about it, I, I calculated, and I was like, so nothing would change that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But uh, the biggest, like those two being the major deaths, we're not going to see Kohaku die. I almost guarantee. Yeah, I would be because shocked if Kohaku Kohaku dying is like if Chopper would die in One Piece. You're right. I hate that you're comparing that because you're absolutely it's fucking right. Merch, it's the merch, baby. That's the merch character. That is the merch character. That's going to be 7,000 figures. That's going to be, like, all the body pillows. Yeah. Uh, that That's your that's your fucking... That's your merch slot. If Kohaku dies, then they have to start making Luna wear, like, really revealing skimpy clothing. And I don't think Luna... And I'm not saying female. merch slot because female. I'm yeah, saying no, merch yeah. slot because... Chuck is also a merch is slot. Immediately and a big swing the, reindeer cock. That is immediately the one character that has the most amount of fan servers and is one of the most popular. And it also is the sole, in the early series, is sole forefront of most female representation. Therefore, it is the waifu. Kohaku which ushered in the, the best part, like the beginning of Dr. Stone being amazing. But when yeah, Kohaku and, and Senku met in, the, in that forest, that was the beginning of something exactly. beautiful. And the first Whammon always gets the most figures. True. That's what Rukia, baby. Well, yeah, no, we do see Rukia before or- Orihime. Fuck Orihime, by the way. Low tier woman. <laughs> oh, God. We're, I don't understand how ranking... people can like Orihime. Such a boring character. Because people have a fascination with the mi- white mage. That's essentially the biggest thing. Uh, but no, that, that's what I'm meaning by that. She's going to be every bit of wo- merch that's geared towards women. Just like Senku is the thirsty, thirsty fucking dude there. That is every figure already. I think he's the only figure. Final thoughts Uh, for everyone. uh, Final thoughts. Right now, we're going to have the next chapter be the stare down, showdown moment. Yeah, I really like the idea of of having a couple thoughts uh, before they actually get foofed. Yeah, we're going to get... Reverse Thanos snapped. Yeah. Instead of turn to dust, turn to stone. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna have that moment here, and we're gonna have the the make or break of morals here. Will he stay true neutral, or will he sway in a more chaotic variety? Oh, please, 
bro, if Senku... Because if we're, oh, if, sorry, we're doing, if we're doing, like, a D&D alignment chart, Senku is fucking true neutral. Yeah, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Like there, there has maybe not been, even like, leaning towards chaotic neutral, like leaning, not fully, no, not fully. He has those moments, but he never wavers in his like, I want everything to be returned to the way it was, which is amazing character writing when you can keep somebody dead center in the alignment chart and keep them interesting, right? Because normally so that's I, very boring, yeah, yeah. I mean, look at John and Ruby, well, because they, uh, they tried, yeah. yeah. That is essentially the same writing style they've been trying with John Cruz. <laughs> what, but he has failed that? so fucking miserably in that show that he is the most lauded on character. Wait a minute. Why did Red Man get nothing? He's just the rest of the day with that John. And Red Man's just like, Because oh. Ruby is like. It really is. It's just full garbo. And I, like, it's not. I shouldn't say. Like, I don't. I can't, bro. Like, I, Ru- I, I Ruby makes me sad, I, man. Like, I, um, Ru- I feel the same way about Ruby as how I felt about like My Hero Academia during that one arc that we both really hated. Thurman, remember that mm-hmm. class A, class B? Yeah. It's just like so, uh, it's not bad, but it's like. <laughs> it's not good. It's not bad. It's just in. It's mid tier as fuck. But what I will say it's just like the last volume. There are some good developments near the end of this volume because I did sit down and actually watch it. Uh, Neopolitan Tatum pick. No, no, no. There hasn't been a Ruby only fans starting. Sadly, <laughs> dash s for fuck's sake. Until I get uh, my canonical sex scene in Ruby. Uh, GTFO. Thank you. Anyway, like that that's the same writing they've been trying with John and it's failed miserably. So it is very difficult. Although historically as I had a very good way of writing characters. Shitting on Ruby aside. Right. Imagine that if Senku had that moment though. Like like where mm-hmm. if he I think they could do it where they could tweak his morality a bit. Like he'd still be the same character. But, like, uh, kind of, like, the best example People I can always think of is he's Soka. Like, he's Soka has a different feel now after... Spoilers for the Hunter x Hunter manga, by the way. Um, when he's Soka... It's been th- five years at this point. Yeah, I know, but people get angry. Uh, when he's Soka fuck fucking... Fuck those, yo, facts, fuck those people. <laughs> <laughs> when he's Soka got, like, hardcore bipped, uh, like, like literally died for, like, three seconds and then came back to life, he kind of, like, snapped something in his brain, and he's like, oh, so he went from, like, being more cautious about, like... Uh, approaching his fights to way more mm-hmm. bloodthirsty like no we're fighting now and i'm gonna kill you now like he doesn't mm-hmm. take his time anymore he's a lot more like ah, right it's a subtle change he wants the same things he gets the same things but he approaches them and does them differently i can he see gets that, that post not clarity either way yeah i could see that with senku where like he's the same character he's the same guy mm-hmm. but like the way he approaches shit is a lot more cautious different maybe he's a little bit more thoughtful about like the type of people that uh, mm-hmm. they revive maybe he's a little bit more uh thoughtful about how they deal with enemies and not just immediately like yeah sure we'll vibe with you guy who tried to kill us three chapters ago <laughs> yeah yep remember i, was I mean me. when you break it down like everybody that has tried to kill him has joined the crew come in yeah and I think it's ah. time for Senku to realize you can't fucking talk no jutsu your way out of everything. He is exactly. one of the best. Like, it's fair when he does it because he's a smart guy. He's really good at that. But you can't not, – not, it's not going to work with everyone. Yeah. Uh, Thurman left the call. I think he had to head out. Uh, okay, so, so I guess that's final thoughts. Uh, last things to say at all? The only thing I want to say here is, like, if they do change his character, I don't want them to drastically That's why change, I said like, slight. Look, very important. Yeah, very slight because he doesn't need a lot of character development, so to speak, in that regard for the morals. What he needs to learn is there are consequences for every action, and he has just avoided the consequences by pure happenstance until now. And so what we really need to do is, like, there are, he needs to realize that there is actually still true evil in the world, and then that that true evil is, like, a way to gauge where somebody line, aligns in their morals themselves. Whereas everybody else, for the most part, hasn't really been that true evil beyond Reformation. Your Hyoga, Hyuga, however you want to say his fucking name, your Sukasa, they've all had good still left in them. But Stanley is beyond redemption because he's been hardened by... Yeah. He, he, military forever, right? Yeah, been in the military, he's been broken down, like, this is the only way to fucking do that. Whatever branch of the military he was in, Secret Service, what have you. There's nothing left to redeem there. So he would be one of those people that would need to be put away or taken out of the equation, so to speak. 
And he needs to realize that they will more than likely continue to encounter people like this as they continue to rebuild society. So he has to have some sort of gauge without going full evil himself. Because that that moral ground can be there to lead him down that path of pure evil himself, depending on how he can handle true loss. Because in the end, he has never really truly lost anybody because he's been able to bring everybody back up until I mean, this point. other than his dad, I suppose, but like that was probably... But that was 3,000 years ago. Yeah, and that, he wasn't really super case. connected to that. He just woke up and like, well, my yeah. dad's gone. <laughs> exactly. Where is his statue? Well, maybe, maybe the Akio is not truly dead. <laughs> Although yeah, he was technically buried alongside Yada. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, there you you see that uh, he's dead. He's gone. What have yeah, you? Yeah. So <laughs> I'm trying. There's. I was trying to find this quote. There's a quote in um, Hunter Hunter when they ask uh, Kilo because Gone is like Gone has like totally changed demeanor. He this is in Chimera mm-hmm. Antark and he's like going full fucking like kind of i don't know re- redemption mode or not not redemption uh vengeance mode and um they they say w- what did you do what you two are so different what did you do and then kilo was like we didn't do anything our enemies did that's 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 what i want to see from senku a little bit where it's like he's not like fully changed but like he's got to change his outlook a little bit and and it's because he's realizing because he's still just a high schooler men- mentally i mean like like you don't know shit when you're in high school like i i certainly didn't see the horrors that the world had, had to offer back then he shouldn't be yeah. like chill and cool with fucking swat team military dudes fucking it coming in and gunning all of his friends down like that should be fucking traumatic to him exactly there, there has to be that that ground there and what we'll encounter in the next couple chapters is if that is there, if that moment is there, like, can he go beyond repair or can he just maintain the path of, like, more caution and understanding that, like you were saying and I was saying there. Uh, so, yeah, I guess with that, any final thoughts from you, Red? Uh, I think I'm just excited to see. I'm curious, like, <clears throat> you know, how long they're going to be petrified <clears throat> for before they're unpetrified. Who is going to yeah. be the one to unpetrify them? There's a lot of stuff to think about. Cause like, and also think about this. There might be other. We don't know that if there's other colonies in other countries that we haven't visited yet, and they're they're about to be fucked over from all this too. Exactly. So uh, yeah, think of, about that for a Global moment. Like, consequences here. Yeah, they, they are really dealing with global catastrophic consequences here because everything is about to be like potentially I, by the wording of the series, everything is about to be completely reset. Meaning, though, every settlement that used to be will cease to be. It's insane to think about. So, I, Which makes I me think th- that the ones that have, the, whoever has the revival fluid, something's got to happen where, like, I mean, theoretically, the first big storm that comes along, like, let's say, like, a month goes by, and then, like, something, like, jostles that revival fluid bottle loose and it spills over the, the person that's holding on to it, bam, they'd be up. You know what I mean? Exactly. So they could do something that, like that. Yeah, and then that person just goes down the path of, like, well, time Let to Let me just revive it, everyone that isn't Stanley's people. Exactly. It's so fucking good! Yeah, so I'm just so hyped to see this next chapter, and we're, we're sitting here at Tuesday, so not too long of a wait. No, not too long away, but I want it now. Well, the spoilers are apparently already out, so fuck it. it's it's unbelievable. What the fuck? Well, yeah, uh, I was seeing people bitching about getting spoiled about One Piece on Tuesday, and they're uh, like, it's I, I, insane that on Tuesday I have to mute everything. Yeah, well, I just saw Chibi's tweet on the, our account there because I was responding to uh, um, Kid Otaku. Um, just holy fuck, dude. Th- that's insane to think because this week we had the end of Phantom Seer. We have the end of fucking Attack on Titan, and we've already got goddamn spoilers out for Shonen Jump. What is this timeline we are uh, living well, in? Well, can we uh, officially just fucking press the movement? Like, within the year, I'm hoping that they finally mm-hmm. just make the move to full digital. Just do it. Yeah. Like, it, like it, should all, it, it should be locked in a goddamn, like, s- the biggest, strongest safe in the world, and then all at once, globally, it comes out. So there's no spoiler bullshit. Uh, yeah, it would be nice. But uh, fucking, I don't know. I think eventually I, we I, will get there. 
Uh, we will eventually get there. I don't know how to feel about that. And this is a whole other video I want to film. No, because... I mean, the volumes would still exist. I just Oh, mean, like, the volumes would yeah. still exist, but I'm like, from magazine to magazine to transfer completely to, to digital, it would be interesting to see from a global we did perspective. It in America, yeah. yeah. But anyway, that's a whole other can of worms we need to film. Goodbye. So until then, peace. peace.